As experts warn of a pending global food shortage, not to mention the one that exists now, the United States and European Union have blamed Russia for preventing grain exports from Ukraine, which is one of the world's top wheat suppliers. On Wednesday, Russia pushed back and blamed the food crisis on sanctions imposed on Russia by the United States and European Union over its invasion of Ukraine. This comes as the U.K. is offering to help escort Ukraine's grain from from its ports under a plan designed by the United Nations that's designed to prevent a mass famine across Africa, where the Ukraine war has led to sharp increases in food prices. African countries import nearly half their wheat from Russia and Ukraine. Almost all the wheat in Somalia comes from Ukraine and Russia. And the United Nations says as many as 13 million people there are already facing severe hunger amidst an ongoing drought. On Monday, the U.N. humanitarian coordinator for Somalia made an urgent call to drastically increase humanitarian aid in the region. 1.5 million children below the age of five are already uh, malnourished, and we expect that 366,000 of them may not survive through the end of September of this year. There are eight districts that are already in what is known as IPC-5, that is catastrophic, that is famine uh, um, situation. That number is bound to increase unless, unless we are able to scale up our response plan in a very, very major way. For more, we continue with Jan Egland in Mogadishu, Somalia. Uh, Jan Egland is secretary general of the Norwegian Refugee Council. Again, welcome back to Democracy Now! You arrived earlier this week. What have you seen? How devastating is the problem, and how much of it relates to the war in Ukraine? Well, I've been uh, now, I'm now in Mogadishu, the capital, but I've been two days up in Baidoa, which is one of the hardest hit areas in central uh, Somalia. What I saw there was heart wrenching, really. Uh, mothers and fathers having walked for 250 kilometers, many of them, to save one child from dying uh, from acute severe malnutrition, bringing them to the therapeutic feeding stations in Badoa town. Uh, they told that they had more children at home that had not been able to, to escape these drought-stricken areas. It, it's devastating, really. It is a creeping, uh, devastating drought, which is coming after four failed uh, rainy seasons. So it's climate change. It's the climate change that we in the industrialized world caused and who are dying from this. The children of Somalia, from the people who did nothing to cause, uh, to, to cause climate change. And, and then again, we're, we are underfunded. We have hundreds of aid workers on the ground, but very little funding for the uh, life-saving efforts. And Jan, could you speak uh, specifically, first of all, uh, uh, obviously climate change is a massive factor, but do you think that the war in uh, uh, Ukraine has exacerbated the situation because so much of Somalia's wheat uh, came from uh, one of the two countries, both the countries together? It, it has. I mean, the food prices has, has more than doubled in some areas. The 90 percent of the wheat Wheat came from Ukraine, number one, and Russia, number two. That's gone. So the Somali traders now need to compete for grain uh, with, uh, with Norwegians and Swiss and others who can afford high prices. Uh, so it's, it, it's two things, ex two external factors, the climate change that leads to the drought and the war in Europe that leads to an exploding uh, price, exploding prices for food that is really causing this massive famine. Uh, and none of these factors were caused by the people. And that's why we're hoping that the G7 nations, including the US now in Germany this weekend, will stand by their pledge to not allow biblical 
famines in, 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 in this century. At the moment, the famine is coming. And in addition to that, another contributor, perhaps, uh, is the fact that uh, farmers across Africa have been reporting, in addition to, of course, the uh, uh, increase in prices of wheat, uh, also uh, as high as a 300 percent increase in the price of imported fertilizer. Could you uh, talk about that? Yeah, and that is curbing food production on the in the continent of Africa that could increase its food pr production and need to increase its food production. But but again, in Somalia, the, 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 these the, the people I met are, are are living from hand to mouth. They are living from goats and 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 sheep and camels that have died from thirst and and from from drought. Uh, the, 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 these are, are pastoralist farmers as, as well that did not use fertilizer. The, here it is the lack of aid and the drought and the food e uh, price increase that is the, the enormous killer. And finally, Jan, uh, on the question of Ukraine, you were in the eastern part of the country earlier this year. What do you know of what's happened since? You have your organization, the Norwegian Refugee Council, that's working there, and uh, millions and millions of refugees who fled. Yeah, well, I mean, we, the Norwegian Refugee Council, had our, our headquarters in the east of Ukraine, in Severodonetsk, that you have reported uh, upon repeatedly, because that city that was a vibrant city, it, it, it was a city where we had 68 workers, is, is in ruins now. It's completely destroyed. 90 percent of all buildings are destroyed, and it's now fighting house by house and cellar basement by basement in, 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 in the remaining parts of, of the city. It's, 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 it's crossfire for the civilians there. We have been able to pre-position food in bomb shelters and so on that people are surviving uh, on at the time being. And, and remember, the people that have not fled, that are, are left behind, many of them are elderly and disabled. They are in a desperate situation. Jan Eglund, we want to thank you for being with us, Secretary General of the Norwegian Refugee Council, speaking to us from Mogadishu, Somalia. Next up, as experts um, warn of a looming global food shortage, we look at what led to the crisis and what to do about it. Stay with us.